you might have seen grid animations like these that most content creators use to either display their stock images or videos. And you want to create some custom animations like these for your personal use. In today's video, you are going to learn how to create custom grid animations using the Tubilean displays in Premiere Pro so that you can take your editing gains to the next level. So. Without much further to do, let's get started with the video. So I'm going to use a grid image to create this animation. I will start by adding the image by double clicking on my project manager, then locate where I've saved it. And I'll leave a link down in the description where you can download this image and follow along. So I'll add this to my timeline, add in a color mat for the animation. And for the color, I'm going to allow it to black, but you can choose any color depending on what you want since it's a custom animation. Add this to my timeline, and then I'll select the grid animation, move to the effects panel, and search turbulent displays. Be sure the grid image is selected and double click on the turbulent displays effect and it will be added to the image. Under the effects controls, I'm going to move down to the turbulent displays and for the amount, I'm going to set it to 30. Set the first keyframes for the amount and the evolution. And I want this animation to be 5 seconds long. So I'm going to click here, set in the time at 5 seconds and hit OK. Then I'll set the second set of keyframes for the amount and the evolution. This time around, the amount will be set to 60. For the evolution, I'm going to set this to 2 times 0. So depending on the duration of your animation, you can increase or decrease the speed. This is the speed at which the grid will be animated. Now, when I play this, you will see the basic animation. You can customize this animation further by playing around with the size, amount and the complexity. For the size, I'm going to set this to 50. Then for the complexity, I'm going to set this to 3. Now you see that the complexity has changed the shapes of the grid line. And when I play this one more time, you will see the difference. So it's now left for you to customize this however you want. Or even use some different type of grid files or even merge files so that you come up with unique looking custom animations that you can use to display your stock images or stock videos if you want and take your editing gains to the next level. And that's it for today's video. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching and until the next one, keep editing.